Chapter 11 Eating Food Pave the Way Let's check your knowledge. Savaiya is prepared on Pitta is prepared on Gujiya is prepared on Pongal rice is prepared on Modak is prepared during Let's begin. Food is essential for our body to maintain a healthy heart, active brain and optimal working of muscles and organs. We get our most of the food items from plants. Let's see the chart of food we get from plants. Food from plants Vegetables B. Carrot, Potato, Tomato, Tea and Spinach are some vegetables. They are rich in vitamins and minerals. Food grains Rice, Wheat, Oats and Corn are some food grains. They are also called cereals. They give us energy. Pulses Pulses are dried seeds of certain plants and are rich in proteins. Some of them are kidney bean, moth bean, black gram, etc. Oil seeds Oil is obtained by crushing the seeds of some plants. Mustard, groundnut, linseed, and sunflower seeds are some oil seeds. Fruits Fruits can be classified into two types. Fleshy fruits and dry fruits. Apple, mango, cherry, orange, pineapple, etc. are some fleshy fruits. Apricot, almond and raisins are some dry fruits. Eating plenty of fruits may help reduce the risk of many diseases. Spices Pepper, chili, clove, cardamom, turmeric and bay leaf are some common spices. They make our food tasty, colourful and spicy. They are obtained from leaves, seeds, flowers or barks of many plants. Journey of Food Food travels a long way to reach our house. Let's understand the journey of food and then analyze how the food that we eat reach in our homes, schools, communities, etc. First, the field is ploughed. Seeds are sown in the soil. Field is watered at regular intervals. Once the crop is fully grown, it is harvested. Weeds are removed. Manure and fertilizers are added to the soil. The harvested crop is stored in gunny bags and sent to the mandi. Wholesalers buy it from the mandi and sell them further to retailers. We purchase the food we need from the retail shops. Eating together in a family. After purchasing, we cook the food and then eat it with our family. It is the time when we share our whole day experiences, thoughts, ideas, etc. with our family members. Eating together as a family establishes a bond of unity among the members of the family and brings the family members closer to one another. We should eat at least one meal together with our family. Community Eating Community is a group of people living together in the same area. When the people of a community eat together on certain occasions, it is called community eating. Langar and Bandara Langar refers to the common kitchen in Gurudwaras where food is cooked for all the visitors. The founder of Sikhism, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, started the Langar. At this common kitchen, People of all the religions are allowed to eat food together. Many people help in cooking and serving the food as a service to mankind. Bandara is the term to describe the free meal served to the people invited to the temple or any other places. Usually, this is done on festivals as a part of worshipping the Lord. 
you must know. Nowadays, most of the government primary schools in our country provide the midday meals to students. This is because there are many poor families in our country who cannot afford their children to bring food to the school. The lack of food affects their physical and mental health. So, this could help them to some extent. Eating together in schools. Children have a lot of fun during lunch break at school. They eat with their friends in school during lunchtime and also share their meals. Sharing meals brings them closer to their friends. In a hostel or boarding school, students sit together in a large dining hall called mess and have their meals. They have fixed time for their meals. Students belonging to different religions, castes and states sit together in the mess and have their food. This type of eating habit encourages discipline, manners and oneness in students. It helps them to understand the diversity and culture of our country. Must try. Traditionally in India, we eat special food on festivals or on special occasions. Prepare a list of the special food items that you see your mama is cooking on such special days.